All right, it's Saturday night, and that means it's a couple Linux game night tonight. Um, we're going to be doing probably some Star Conflict and some Super Tux card if we have enough people, and I've got some games to give away. But before um, we get into game night activities, uh, I've been a busy little bee. And uh, what you see on the screen here is my latest edition of M. Cole or a new addition to the M. Cole family. And this is M. Cole 19.3, and this is the KDE Plasma environment. I'm looking at the live CD right now, and uh, when you download this ISO, uh, all you need to do is just press login. There is no password. Okay? And then uh, once everything loads up, installation is pretty straightforward and easy okay um, you have a video here on the desktop where I demonstrate uh, the ABIF installer that both the XFCE and KDE editions use okay the installation process is identical so you'll want to uh, play this video um, that's on the desktop and that will guide you through the installation process. This is the uh, welcome screen here. Okay, and um, for your convenience, I have a drop down menu here. This is Yakwake, of course, we're on KDE, so um, we're using theirs. And um, what you do is you launch the drop down menu and you press this little pin here, and that will keep the menu uh, or keep the um, terminal on top and then to uh, run the installer just um, simply run setup okay now um, you're also going to want to make sure that you um, set up your partitions and so uh, for your convenience I have included um, gparted for that purpose there's also uh, the KDE partitioner but since I'm since most of you are probably used to using Gparted, you got two dish different options here. So um, you can use Gparted, or or you can use the uh, KDE Partition Manager, whichever one you want to. And then just simply uh, going through the menus here, you can uh, pretty much uh, set up the drive however you want to. Now, something I did not cover in the installation video is. Um, when we are preparing for the installation okay and we mount the partitions okay I need to first uh, make partitions so why don't we go ahead and do this uh, we'll just go to um, G parted We will go into device, create a partition table, and so the default is MS DOS. All right, and then we will create a new partition here, and I uh, give a generous amount for um, swap. This is an acceptable size. EXT4 is what we'll use. Uh, select add, and then we're going to uh, create new, and we're going to uh, set this as um, Linux swap. Okay, once that's been added, we select Apply, and then Close. All right. Now that we've got our partition set, we can go Cancel here on this. Select Mount Partitions. Okay. Okay, again. All right, it now detects we have DevSDA1 as our root partition. We're going to select OK. If we press Skip, we don't get to have any fun options with this. We're going to select EXT4 here. All right, and this is something I didn't demonstrate before, so this is this might be helpful for some of you guys. All right, you have some uh, things that you can do with this. For instance, if you want to reduce the number of read writes, you can select uh, No A Time. All right, and if you are using, if this is a uh, SSD drive and you want to have some trim, you can use a discard. Uh, Google is your friend on this. If you want to know what all of these things do, you can just go online and look them up. 
but that's one of the neat things about using this installer in that it does give you um, plenty more options than you would have on a graphical installer such as Calamari's. Okay, and so we're going to confirm that we're going to use discard and uh, no wait time on that. Okay, and then the mounts are successful. We select our swap file. Okay, and then uh, go back. And then uh, we can, from there, install the base. And then everything you need to know uh, in the installation is uh, right here in the install guide uh, video. You can unpin this for a moment. And uh, basically, you know, I will take you through the entire installation process. Zip, bada, boom, good stuff here. So uh, we have that. And uh, pretty much, basically, this is just a simple uh, run-of-the-mill uh, Manjaro KDE desktop. I tweaked its appearance a little bit for you guys and gave you a base set of applications included with this. Um, some tools uh, that you can easily build on top of. So uh, that, I know a number of you wanted to have a KDE edition, so uh, I cranked on this and I... Uh, put this together personally I wish I had the whisker menu that's the only thing that's keeping me from uh, using KDE because the whisker menu well it just lays out everything the way I like to work the way I think and they just don't have a whisker menu um, for KDE yet um, and when and when they do um, yeah but I mean this is kind of close I guess um, but uh, I just like Whisker a lot more. And I just can't live without it. And plus, I like how GDK uh, looks and everything, the way I've got my uh, XFCE desktop. But um, this is a good option in its own right. So uh, well worth your time to check it out. So there will be a link in the description. So now we have uh, M. Cole in two flavors, in uh, XFCE and KDE. I might consider doing um, an architect version if there is enough demand and uh, support requests for it. All right, well, that's all I have today on the release announcement. Um, I was going to have some other guests, but um, everybody's in the middle of doing other things. Right now it's a dinner hour, so I, I at least wanted to get a video announcement out to you guys so that you are aware. Um, you know, uh, of course, the ideal way to use Manjaro is to visit manjaro.org. Uh, and download one of their ISOs. Uh, what makes them cold different is, you know, I built a version that will work on your legacy EFI and your BIOS machines, which are unable to boot mainline uh, Manjaro images. So this, by having this set up here, uh, this enables more people to try Manjaro than ever. Uh, because there's a lot of people that are left out in the cold that new grub tube loader, you know, um, not judging or anything here, but, um, you know, there's uh, a number of people that are, that want to run Manjaro but can't. So to that end, I saw there was a problem, and I figured I will tackle this problem. But just keep in mind, though, I'm not a programmer. <laughs> um, so um, there's going to be bugs. You're going to run into some bugs, so please visit couplelinux.com and post your bug reports so that I can look into this and possibly uh, make some fixes. Um, there's going to be bugs with this, There, you know, but for the most part, um, everybody seems to like these builds so far. Uh, they seem to be well-rounded, but um, we might run into some issues with this, and uh, that's to be expected. Um, this is my first KDE build that I've ever done, so um, hopefully it won't blow up on you guys. All right, that's all I have for this. Uh, tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, UTC, negative 5. We are on the Cup of Linux Mumble server for game night. We get enough people here. I'm going to give away some free games, and we're going to have some fun with uh, Super Tux Cart and Star Conflict. So I hope to see all of you there. Coming up next on Cup of Linux, I'm going to... Um, go into some additional tours and I'm going to show uh, the new line of MCOL in greater detail um, for those of you who are brand new and you want to uh, give this distribution a shot. So uh, until then, peace out. Mm -hmm.